Hey, how's it going everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to be doing somewhat of a little network upgrade on my actual office. Now, um, this upgrade is more uh, internal. It's not really going to be improving my speed going outwards to the internet. Um, but I want to go right ahead and actually improve the file transfer speeds going from my workstation, which is my main workstation, and then going to my actual server. So let me go ahead and show you exactly the items that I'm going to be installing and then basically go right ahead and go through the steps. Now, before I even begin, um, this is technically the very first time I'm actually trying to set something up like this. Um, I have done this before just using regular cat six cables, but this time I'm doing things a little bit different, but you'll see. So we have a couple of things here. Um, let me go ahead and show you. So the first thing is, of course, this little Tretnet switch. Now, um, these four ports are able to transmit, uh, two, what is it, 2.5 gig as well as 1 gig, um, as well as, I, I believe, like like 100, 100 base T. So, I mean, you could go ahead and, you know, have those speeds as well. But the main reason I bought it is because it has these SF, uh, SFP Plus little ports. Now, I just realized it right now that... I, I received or I ordered the little um, adapters for it and these are TP-Link. I thought they were they were Tretnet. So I'm not entirely sure if this is still going to work, but I mean, I'm going to set it up and see what happens. These little guys. So these little guys are actually fiber. If you haven't already seen the fiber cables here. Yeah, so I got two of these, but I'm not entirely sure if it's compatible with the Tretnet. Fingers crossed, hopefully it is. If not, I'll probably have to find some that are compatible. But yeah, so we got two of those. We also have these cards. So I was I was doing my research and it looks like these cards are actually compatible with Windows 10. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's, a, if it's compatible with Windows 11, um, but as well as uh, another thing that I wanted compatibility on this is um, TrueNAS because inevitably I actually want to upgrade my actual main server into being instead of a Windows server, an actual TrueNAS server. And from what I was reading, this is compatible with TrueNAS. So I was like, you know what? It's like, might as well just buy one of these. And I mean, if it's going to be compatible with Windows 10, might as well just get another one. So I got two of these as well. For the fiber cables, so I bought, I believe it's um, it's a seven foot little fiber cable. Uh, this is the, uh, what is it? What type of a connector is this? The LC connector. So this one's just gonna be going from this switch and then it's gonna be going to the actual server. Now the second cable is gonna actually be going from the switch to the actual workstation and I think 16 feet is probably gonna be more than enough. So we should be good there. So I also bought these right here. Now, these are actually the same thing. So instead of just being the, the TP-Link version of it, these are the 10G tech. And this is um, the, the, what is it? The adapter for the, for the, for fiber. So what I was thinking is like, all right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pair these two with these two, because this is actually a double, it's actually a pack. So I was like, all right, I'll do, you know, these here because they're technically from the same uh, brand. And then I was thinking, it's like, all right, I'll just use these two and these just because I thought it was Treadnet, but I guess I was wrong. So like I said, fingers crossed, hopefully everything works. So let me go ahead and I guess set it up and start getting everything, I guess, put together. I will have to get get my desktop and my server opened. And I know that I, in my workstation, I know that I have the Elgato capture camera that I'm gonna have to take out. But honestly, I don't really use that that card anymore. Um, I was actually using it for, what is it? Um, some of my live streams when I was like playing like Resident Evil 2 and like some of the console games, but I'm not using it anymore. So that's going to be out and I guess I'll just have an Elgato capture camera just laying around. Inevitably I'll use it, but for right now, yeah, it's just in the shelf. Anyways, let me go right ahead and start getting all of this uh, squared away. Oh, by the way, so since I'm going to be up unboxing this, um, this is uh, the model of this is actually the Tretnet 
TEG S562. So just in case if I didn't say that, that's the model number. So on this one, nothing special, just like anything. It's just an unmanaged switch. So we have the switch itself of this right here. So there we go. Get a better shot right there. So metal housing, you could go right ahead and uh, wall mount it if you want. I believe it does have little rubber feet for this. So you could go right ahead and put it on your desk or wherever you're going to put it. For me, I am going to be attaching these because it's just going to be on top of a little um, rack that I have. So I'll install this in a little bit. And then of course we just have a power adapter. All right, so since we have that already done, let me go right ahead and get these unboxed. I don't want to get cut, so get that out of the way. Got this one, so most likely I presume this just slides in. And it just, hold on, let me just double check because I don't want to mess it up. It's actually the other way, so it's this way. And there it is, so it just clicks in. Try to be careful with this because I really, I really don't want to mess this up for sure. So, all right. So there's the second one. So those are connected. So since we got that going, let's go right ahead and get these little Nick, uh, Nick adapters. PCI, what would, would it be? Um, PCI um, network cards. So let's go right ahead and get these unboxed. All right. So we got the, we got these cards open. Of course, just like every other Nick, of course, you also have the small form factor. You could go right ahead and switch over. For me, I'm just going to be using the regular one. To touch up a little bit more on these cards, because I was doing some research on these, and they're not just, um, just plug and play. You would actually have to go into the manufacturer's website and actually get the the drivers for it so it's not these aren't plug and play from what i've been reading which is fine because i'm like hey as long as i can go right ahead and just get the drivers and install them and then they'll they'll work okay so we got the cards there let's go ahead and get these little adapters now i was gonna say this is a cool little case right here let's see this focus right here it's pretty cool all right so slides open there it is we got some instructions right here you can follow. So I should I should technically pay close attention to this because I've never really done this. So, and even at work I haven't really even con like connected fiber um, cables whatsoever. I <laughs> you won't believe this, but when I was going to school I actually got certified in uh, what is it like kind of like uh, terminating uh, the the optical cables. I was like, I remember, I think there was like, what was it? It was like safety, um, like precautions. It was like the theory. And then it was like, I guess like learn how to do like four different connectors. And to tell you the truth, it's been so many years. I think the, when I took the certification, I think it was back in 2011. And I mean, just like anything, you don't, you don't use it. So you, you forget about it. So just like last one, last time. So connectors there. Slides in, clips in, there it is. The same thing for this one. Fingers crossed, hopefully everything works out on this. Okay, so now that we have, I guess, everything assembled, let me go ahead and move on to my actual workstation. So it's probably gonna sound a little bit different since I'm gonna be running everything on my phone, but yeah. We'll see you in a little bit. Alrighty, so we have um, my main workstation's uh, side panel open. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and take that Elgato um, card out of there and then replace it with that, um, what is it, um, 10 gig NIC. So that's what I gotta do there. And I also have to get in here, because this is basically where I have all my stuff. Um, I need to go right ahead and get this puppy out and basically uh, install the card there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna include the actual installation of the cards. So uh, just to make it easier. Alrighty, so I just wanted to go ahead and uh, show you exactly what I did. So this cable right here, this is actually going to my server. Now this was a seven foot cable. Now it just barely made it to actually connect. So 
I might need to buy a longer cable, um, as well as maybe something to protect it because, I mean, it's here. Let me, let me turn on my, my flashlight. It's like, it's just basically just dangling there and I need to protect this a little bit better. So um, we'll see what I come up with there. And then of course, um, this secondary one right here. So this one right now is just temporarily just, oops, uh, just going underneath my desk and it's just going directly to the actual computer. Uh, this uh, red cable right here, so it's already connected to my actual, the main switch that I have here. So it looks good, I mean, port one is orange and then the other ones are, are green. So yeah, it looks like there's communication going there. So let me go ahead and jump into the desktop and let me see what I get see what I'm getting right there I'm on actually my main computer so I'm actually looking at uh, computer management so if you see right here it, it's picking up the actual Nick but of course the drivers aren't there so let me go ahead and install the drivers so most likely if this is happening here that's most likely also happening on the actual uh, server itself so let me let me focus on this one and let me get this let me get the um, which I'm gonna call it the drivers ready. All right, so it looks like I got it to work. So one of the things that I had to do was um, I actually had to, so because I had different uh, different zip files that I actually downloaded. So the one that worked for me was this release uh, 29.0. So I just extracted it. All I did was just, you know, it's this one right here. I just went to upgrade driver browse my computer and I just basically went to where uh, the release uh, underscore 29.0 was at just selected that folder click next and it looks like it picked up the driver so that's how I got that working let me just go ahead and double check on and see if I can see it so let me go into control panel real quick and there it is so I have an ethernet 4 so if we look at the status so speed is 10 gigs, so it's good. So if I go, let me see if I'm actually getting an IP address. So if I go to IP config all, if I go into four and I am getting an IP address right there. So cool. Okay, so IP address is good which is awesome. So, all right, so let me go ahead and do, let me go ahead and go into my actual server and let me go ahead and do that exact thing to that one. I have great news. Workstation, it's good. Um, one of the things that I didn't actually mention that this workstation is actually a Windows 11 computer. So the drivers worked on it. So we're good there. Uh, as well as for the server, the server is also good. is operational, so I'm being I'm, I'm able to ping out and actually hit the internet. So now what I want to do is I actually want to see what the improvement is. So let me go ahead and see because I know I had um, a little test uh, document that I had that I had uh, two ISO files in there, and there were about. I believe it was like maybe 9.3 something gigs worth of data and it was fluctuating between the transfer speed of what is it like I think it was like well it wasn't the speed I think it was the time was from like two and a half to four and a half minutes for like nine gigs so let me go ahead and see exactly how much it's gonna be for uh, I guess now that we're actually running 10 gigs so let me go ahead and get that going and let's see what the changes are. There we go. So we're able to see the speeds. So now from the looks of it, we're at two minutes and 15 seconds and we're running at 96.2. It's way better than what I was actually running before. So this is way it's like, I'm like, wow. Is I think like the maximum for the speed when I was running 2.5 was about like maybe 50 to 55, I think, about that speed. So, I mean, at this point now, I'm technically running a little bit higher than that. Not really double the speed, but 
overall not bad. And, and I know it's like, um, at this point, I know I, you know, most likely what's bottlenecking me is actually my um, hard drive, which is a SATA 3. So that's technically what's bottling me right now. But at this point, I mean, I'm, I'm happy if I can get these speeds and I don't have to be sitting here waiting for data transfers to finish. It's like, I'm happy with that. All right, cool. So it looks like everything is working correctly. Um, I'm still going to go ahead and test it out, make sure that there's no... Uh, I guess drop back packets or anything like that. And luckily for me, um, it looks like the TP-Link little um, adapters actually worked with the Tretnit one. So I was, yeah, so that's that's good. <laughs> so there we go. So I'm actually happy that I'm actually getting, I guess, uh, internally 10 gigs of actually, you know, speed to transfer um, data from my computer to the server. Now, inevitably what I want to do is I actually want to get another switch that is I guess has more slots for the SFP plus um, little adapters, just because I'm I'm thinking possibly I want to go ahead and just basically have all of my internal network just run uh, 10 gigs. But I know that the switches are a little bit pricey. Like the one that I was looking for was I believe like 500 and so dollars, and I was like I'm tempted to to pull the trigger, but. Uh, for right now, it's like this is a little more cost effective solution uh, for all the parts. Technically, that I got, I, it came up to 280 plus change. So, you know, it's like if you want to go ahead and upgrade your internal network to basically have 10 gig speed, something just kind of like when I'm running just two computers at that point. Uh, yeah, this is a good solution. But nonetheless, uh, thank you very much, everybody, for watching this video. I really do appreciate every single one of you. And like always, we will catch you on the next one.